Who? Hello. Hello. What's the Bernie Severo? We're about to get another reaction today. We are hopping into Bucket the Vampire Slayer, episode number 13 of season number six called Dead Things. Hopefully, it's a great episode. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. Of course, if you have, you like, you comment, you subscribe to the channel, you head over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reaction episodes. Like, surely over there if you want them. If you don't, that's totally cool. You get episodes here whenever they show up. So, previous episode, we had um, dub, Double Meat Palace. Is that what it was called? Uh, which you guys really hated um i didn't like it <laughs> i thought it was very boring and generic i still gave it a very low seven like barely a seven but you guys said that, that was like one of your worst episodes you hated it so much i feel like i've hated other episodes more it's definitely in the bottom for me um but yeah not as much as you guys you guys really hated that episode that, that episode um which is fine i mean i just was not down on it um, I mean the episode was not good though. Had a lot. Of, you guys mentioned the creepy old lady, and I, I don't know. Episode wasn't good, man. But I just other ones have pissed me off more. Uh, this was called Dead Things. So I'm guessing we're probably gonna be dealing with, dealing with zombies. What was the ending of the episode? I can't remember. Once we got out of that double meat thing, he told the one. Uh, he told um, Amy to. Stay away. I don't remember if anything else after that. Eh, but we're gonna hop in here, have a good old time, have some fun. Here we go. I think we screwed it up. Things have changed. The only thing that's different is that I'm disgusted with myself. But I keep coming. Oh my! More sex. Seriously, is that was happening. More vampire slayer sex. Jesus, this stuff is not interesting to me at all. I wonder if the actors like this story. I was watching uh, when I was doing the angel stuff. reaction. I mentioned that Actually, I think Cordelia and Angel just are better not part of the deal. than Buffy and Angel. Honest, I would prefer choice. that right now. This sucks. Couldn't we Buffy have at least angel, gotten right a layer with a view? Stop whining. Start. Is this man? About to make Buffy a sex slave right now? Is that really what's happening? You know what? I don't even want to listen to the theme song. Because I don't feel that this season is trying very hard. Make me care about these kids. Double meat is double sweet. I mean, she knows it's her. I feel differently. Unless it's that. There are things that... Because he loves her, he can hurt her. I think maybe I came back wrong. Yeah. Keep the potatoes peeled for the Slayer. I don't want any surprises. Dude, we can it's really almost like these creators like don't... Candy. Juicy don't... pulsating candy. Who was writing this season oh, the the doesn't neck. understand... Put the on the neck. No, the redhead. Doesn't understand the redhead. their audience, maybe? Oh. You don't know how. about that thing, are you? What thing would that be exactly? That the wind up slut you tinker together? Or when little oh, Miss Nuts and Bolts try to choke me to death? Okay, so I've made a few mistakes. No. No, I. We're super villains. Call us master. Wait! What's up? Uh, why didn't it work? Oh, crap. Is that a juice? Is that what you used on me? Oh, my God. First a skank bot, and now this? What is wrong with you? You like getting raped. Stop oh, her. Shit. Get off me. What the fuck is happening? Good. What's up? Oh shit. Charge a cerebral dampener. Okay, what the fuck? All right, we took a twist and now I'm back in. These dumb fucks who I want to literally watch be murdered just killed her. You killed her. Y'all were going to rape her and then you murdered her. This isn't happening. What the 
fuck is wrong with you? What did you do? What the hell did you do? We did this. Me and Andrew and you. It's on all of us. Shut up! Is it called dead things because they bring her back to life? We have to get rid of it. How? Um, uh, maybe, maybe a, a spell. Can, can you? You don't think Buffy will be able to put that together? That's what she does. She'll figure it out. It was an accident. Oh, was maybe it? We could turn ourselves in. No. She's right. Okay, if we go to the police. No, I'm not going to jail. We can't hide this. Sooner or later. What a we're dark. Do that at the wedding, are what we? a dark, dark oh, twist. This episode just there. fucking took, bro. Holy to. shit. They're still doing okay, right? I thought we yeah. were going down the you route know, of horny, cheesy, really hard days. rape yeah, story that they like were going to tell. Like, oh my God. Like, they were, I didn't think they would acknowledge it as rape. Sorry, I thought they were going to kind of like have fun with no, it. Like, not, and that was going to be like okay. super uncomfortable. We, we know you've been all tied up. They murdered that girl. What What's the fuck? And now they're trying to figure out a way to hide the body. Hey, I see, see. What would they think of you if they found out? Uh, we were friends with Angel. I'm sure they'll be fine. If they knew who you really were. Don't. This is so Stop. trash, bro. I don't like any of this. Why the sex? Why so much sex? Sex, or there'll be a crazy twist and you kill Spike. What is happening? What kind of weird happening? spell is this? So you thought you could just slip away then? Vampire, remember? Bloody hell, what'd you do that for? Making her go crazy on us. Kind of dope. She's dead. I killed her. This is a very fucked up dark episode, bro. <laughs> like, it's, it had the stupid shit with the trio of nerd dudes. I was like one of them pretending to be her, the one guy that could. Buffy well, thinks she killed Katrina. What's her problem now? See, my thing is like, this show needs to kill him. 100% needs to kill him. If it doesn't kill him, then this it season's like, uh, uh, it's gonna be shit. He needs to die. Don't worry. This turns into another fucking sex scene. What's happening, bro? Shit. This is. Talk about weird. I have like a love hate relationship with this episode right now. Love a lot. Hate a few things a lot, though. The river. She washed up half a mile from the cemetery. You suck. You're the worst. Was that supposed to be played for comedy? Because felt like it was really different comedy. There still isn't anything to connect this to you. It doesn't matter. It wasn't your fault. I clean in you. You are dead inside. You can't feel anything real. I could never be your girl. Amazing acting. <laughs> the punching is a bit. Nah. Good. Secrets from me, other girls, and who knows what else. Trina, 
Shut up. Warren. Thanks. Did you, no, figure, what's the problem, miss? you figured it out like that, really? Huh? Is this what you saw? Yeah, that's it. Ooh. Rasundi. Very rare. Ooh, good line. Um, good thing about your Does this mean you're not going away? So. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I mean, Buffy's just jumping to it because of the connection, which is exactly what they said was going to happen. Buffy needs to go kill them. We need to find Warren and the yeah. others. Take care of it. Whatever they've done, they're not going to get away with it. Finally, let's okay. take care of these dumbasses. Injuries consistent with the fall. Coroner's ruling it a suicide. What about Buffy? Well, it wasn't that hard. This can't be me. It, it isn't me. Why do I feel like this? That's some of the best acting Why of the entire series. Do those things to me? By her. Is that what's over? Yeah, like, I hit you. Yeah. Also, why does she want oh. him? Oh. Oh man, this is I'm I'm conflicted right now, folks. I am conflicted like crazy. Okay. One of the best acting, like I said, in the episode. Some of the darkest shit in the episode too, like real dark. I just wish it was better. I just, I just wish it was better people instead of the trio of dumbasses. All right. The Buffy. Let, let's let's start with the positives. Let's start with the Buffy stuff, right? The Buffy stuff is amazing. Um, the acting was amazing by her. Her needing to know that something was wrong with her. Such a cool, like a good story, right? So it turned into. Something like, oh, wait, you came back different. Or to her, like, being like, oh, that's why I'm acting this way, because I'm not me. I'm different. So there has to be a reason why I'm different. And it just not being that, oh, sex is good with, with Spike. That's why she goes back to it. It's an addiction. It's just sex. It's lust. Um, she can't. It can't just be that. She needed to be more. I think that that's actually quite good for, um, I think that's actually a really cool way of doing it. Um, now, the sex, man, there's a lot of sex, there's just, it just, it's, it's a weird ass season, right, there's a lot of sex, right, a lot of moans, a lot of, like, stuff, like, constantly, right, happening, right, Buffy killed somebody, killed somebody, and, the next transition was the moans and the sex and Spike being there. And it's just like, why? Right? You can blame it on the hallucinations for the other part, but why is she like, she's dreaming about sex, the Spike, and, you know, some people, you know, that, that, that does happen when something traumatic happens. Some people do turn to sex, right? And it wouldn't have bothered me if it wasn't that these dudes are just, he's like, like they're doing it in like public like it's just anywhere it's just like a it's like a it's a crazy sex lust drive but it, it's not the show takes its time and focuses on it so much i'd rather just us know oh they have sex this time and then it just kind of goes away like i mean we see like they, we know it's happening but we don't see it but the show has this thing where it constantly wants to show you right and I'm so glad that Buffy didn't say she loves Spike because that would have annoyed the shit out of me. And I get it. Some of you are team Spike all day. Um, I am not team Spike when it comes to that. I don't like it. I think it's not a good, I just don't, I mean, it might be a solid story. I just don't, I don't, I can't get on board. Every time it happens, I'm like, man, do I hate Spike like this? Man, do I don't, I do I not like Buffy like this? Um, I don't know. It just bothers me. I love the emotional part of Buffy. Just it's going to turn like, you know, it's going to turn into Buffy's using Spike for sex or whatever. That's going to be a, that's an interesting arc. That's super interesting. I'm super intrigued by that. I can like, that's, I like that. I just don't like the execution of constantly having to see it in the show. Right. And this is a me thing, right? Because I don't, I don't like when they do this, this type of stuff in any show, any show where they harp on it. They do, they do that in Vampire Diaries um, sometimes, too, where they harp on it. And it's like, 
like a whole five minute like ooh sex scene and then they do it again like I'm just like that's not a me thing right I don't like that and I get you know I'm not the target demographic mostly I guess for this kind of show so I guess maybe but I'm like six seasons in right and I love the show so you know so that's just my opinion on that let's get to the dumbasses all right so the trio of dumbasses. I'm so glad. This is how I'm fucked up. I'm glad they went the route they went of killing that girl, Katrina, whatever her name is. I'm glad. Because what I thought the episode was, based on the start, was going to be the bumbling idiots taking advantage of women, having sex with them, which is a 100% rape, and kind of going that route. Right? And I was so, like I said in the reaction, I'm like, oh, I'm already checked out, bro. This sucks. I'm checked out all day with this stupid storyline of them taking advantage of women and oh we want to get the one with the bosoms the big the big boobies and i'm like what the fuck is happening i'm just like there's no way that this is the episode that we're doing right now so i'm so glad that's not what happened it sucks that they killed somebody right because they like you know they killed somebody that's dark as hell but it turned the episode into holy shit this is dark dark this is like fucked up as hell um what's his name warren that dude is pure evil. He needs to die, right? There's no redeemable quality about Warren. The only person that has a redeemable quality, well, the other two kind of do, they're followers, right? But even in the end there, that one guy, I never know, the one um, where he's like, oh, my God, we got away with murder. That's so cool. Like, yeah, they, him, they... Yeah, I don't know. The other guy, he seems like he's just going along, but he's scared. I could see him running to Buffy and trying to tell, get Buffy to help. And I could see Warren killing that dude. And if they turn Warren in the second half into like a legitimately ruthless villain, like murdering guy, I'm like, all right, that's cool. I like that. Um, I love Buffy wanting to turn herself in. I love the emotional acting here. I don't love the Spike stuff here, though. The emotional thing with the punching and the I'm just like eh. and then Spike with the uh you always hit the ones you love so essentially saying Buffy loves Spike it him comes back later with the you know with the Warren thing she figured it out kind of quick um based on she just figured out the name and then she was like oh it had to be Warren that if it could just be another monster um so I thought that was solid I thought that was pretty cool uh, that when, it was cool that it's putting us on the path towards Warren now as a big like a bad. You know what I mean? I'm cool with that. The way it kind of landed, uh, her telling Dawn, um, what's happened, like that she's gonna go away and all that. I thought this was great emotional acting, waking her up because she's about to go turn herself in. That shit was solid. I liked that a lot. Uh, yeah, this thing I hated all of these three minutes or two minutes, however long it was. just takes me out of the episode. I love this look here where he comes out of this thing he's like oh my best acting because now it feels like he's in he's just oh, he's in over his head right but it's hard to feel bad for him because for most of the season they keep talking about killing the slayer like, i don't feel bad for you i even like the explanation for all these weird ass halluc hallucinations with time but that was actually quite awesome um and we got tara be coming back to help buffy this part i could not stand the let's have sex over the balcony thing. Not like. I like the Dawn stuff earlier as well with her saying, oh, you're never here. It's cool. I like this scene because it's like, wait, Warren is like legitimately crazy. Is it Warren? I keep saying Warren. Yeah, he's like nuts. He he hits her with a fucking bottle, dude. That's nuts. So yeah, the episode, it took about 13 minutes for me to be like, oh, Nice, because no lie, this whole beginning, hated it, checked out, didn't like it. It's like, no. Then this dumbass thing, I'm like, oh, these dumbasses are back. Oh, wait, they're doing dumbassery shit, right? Then I was like, okay, this is interesting. She's getting tired of help. I was kind of into this. Then we jump into, ooh, we're going to go rape some women. Let's go. Because, like, think about it. He was doing this with the intentions of always getting her back, like doing this to her. The other guys didn't care who they raped. And then when they got back home, they did this whole thing about like, oh, who gets to get her first? And I'm like, fuck. So it's like, it makes these guys pretty much unredeemable, honestly. 
So I don't know. That's my perspective. That's my mindset on it. I'm going to give the episode an eight because it had some some great acting, amazing twists of the death and all that. I, there was some good shit here. So that's where my mind is. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Pitch up for full reaction. I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.